Keys in Buffalo. I'm Ron Baskin, KB Radio News. Shane on KB 15, your great American music machine. Get it, get it, keep on trucking! Keep on trucking, baby! Africa, Asia, and Africa. This is Joe Downing reporting. Here, KB Total News on the hour and half hour, 24 hours a day. Welcome back to music on the Saturday Beach. Finally, this story is from the Mount Palomar Observatory in California. The past two nights, astronomers have observed huge explosions on the planet Mars. Observatory director Dr. Benjamin Stewart says that although they appear to have as much energy as an explosion of hydrogen bomb force, they are undoubtedly natural origin. And Mr. Stewart described the blast as looking like tremendous jets of blue flame shooting out of the space. He's quick to point out, however. Uh, Halloween night at WTW, the Jackson Oxford on the radio. I'm going to get it all Stand by for news from the WKBW Total News Department. Now 34 degrees at 11 o'clock, this is Joe Dowdy reporting for the Peace Corps. Join the Peace Corps and help build something like Latin America, Asia, and Africa. $96 was taken by a lone bandit in a stick-up this evening at a service station at Main and High in Buffalo. And Lackawanna and Queen City Police are looking for a lone bandit who made off with an undetermined amount of money from a service station at the Anderson Ford used car lot in Lackawanna. In other news developments, Buffalo police arrested six juveniles this evening following a robbery attempt at Honig Jewelers, 1061 Broadway. And police officials raided a cab company in Lackawanna today. They made four gambling arrests. And finally, this story from the Mount Palomar Observatory in California. For the past two nights, astronomers have been closely watching a series of huge explosions that have been taking place on the surface of the planet Mars. The observatory's director, Dr. Benjamin Spencer, says that although they appear to have as much energy as hydrogen bomb blasts, they are undoubtedly of natural origin. Dr. Spencer described the explosions as looking like, quote, tremendous jets of blue flame shooting out into space, end of quote. Mars is currently over 40 million miles away. The Buffalo weather, clear and chilly tonight, low in the mid-30s, down to the frost level in some rural areas. Mostly sunny and warmer tomorrow, high 60 to 65. Fair and not as cool tomorrow night, low in the 40s. The outlook for Saturday, increasing clouds and warmer. Present Buffalo temperature, now 34. KB Total News has been brought to you by the Peace Corps. This is Joe Downey reporting. Here, KB Total News, on the hour and half hour, 24 hours a day. Welcome back to music on the Sandy Beach Radio Show on Halloween night. It's 11.05. Did you hear that story on Joe Downey's newscast about the explosions on Mars? It said they look like giant blue flames. And I was just thinking, wouldn't it be wild if this was a big publicity stunt for the gas company? Listen now to the sound of the turtles on KB, baby. 
And that's by the Turtles on Halloween night at the radio with Sandy Beach on KB Baby from Buffalo, New York. 1520 on your radio dial. We made all of our preparations for Halloween night because tonight we only have an hour left. But my wife was digging the trench when I left and I sharpened up the bamboo spikes and we're waiting for little Paul, the monster kid of our neighborhood, to come over for candy. This is the Sandy Beach Show on KB Radio. Let's see, Henry Brock just handed me this important news announcement. I don't know how important it is. Let's see what it says. NASA tonight alerted all Space Watch uh, facilities to expect unusual observations and communications difficulties. Sounds like the sounds like KB, really. We have a great communication difficulty, and the only way we uh, get around it is Jeff K's memos, and they, they cause more difficulty than you'd believe. Listen now to the cream and white room on WKBW on Halloween night till midnight tonight. My earphones just pull out my hair. That's by the cream on KB on a Halloween night with Sandy Beach. I went trick-or-treating with some of the neighborhood kids, and we went over to Stan Roberts' house, uh, who is not exactly known to be loose with a dollar, and uh, he, gave away, he gave away records, really, for trick-or-treat, records, and they said on the back, uh, for promotional use only, not for sale. Now, that's real. you got to be really cheap to do something like that. Buy a monster from AMA's shoe departments and save $3. You save on this season's most popular shoes, monster shoes. The shoes that cost your friends $16 are AMA's sale priced at $13. AMA's monsters, otherwise known as capers by Dunham. They're trimmed with hardware, come in rich antique leather with great rounded toes and clunky heels. Monster shoes. They were $16. You'll get them for $13, a big $3 savings when you buy from AMA's shoe departments, downtown and suburban stores. This dramatization of H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds is being brought to you by AMAs and WKBW Radio, Buffalo, New York. Oh, let's go. Come on. Here we go. Oh, now radio comes alive. you listening to KB. Oh, sing it out. KB. What a voice. Oh, the deep voice came in here and said, KB. Let's see, I've been asked by our news department not to call KB News, really, because we have a pay station in there, and by the time they get that door open. No, a lot of people have been calling regarding the uh, the Mars thing with the sunspots and all that jazz, uh, but I have been advised by our newsman that they cannot handle the load. Really, Henry Brock has enough time getting out of bed. Uh, don't call the news department anymore, okay, please? We are contacting someone at the Niagara University Observatory, and we'll give you the complete uh, story as it occurs. But do not call the KB News Department. Right now, listen to the Beatles. Hey, Jude. KB. Total News. Bulletin. It's been reported that a large meteor has smashed in on the ground along the East River Road on Grand Island, setting off a series of fires. Several lives have been lost. KB Total News Director Don Lancer on the way to the scene. Repeating, a large meteor is reported to have smashed in on the ground on Grand Island killing several people and touching off a series of fires. This has been a KB Total News Bulletin. Full details on KB Total News straight down the line on the half hour. You're listening to WKBW Radio at 1520 from Buffalo, New York. Apparently this uh, this meteor is, is uh, far more serious than I, uh, I or anybody else first suspected. Uh, several people have been killed in the Grand Island area. We would advise you uh, not to drive out there, no matter, you know, any time something along this line or a fire or anything else happens, there's always uh, spectators and onlookers, uh, do not drive out there. Do not cause uh, any traffic congestion. Uh, as far as we know, uh, the fire department and everything will be on their way out there. So uh, please, do not clog up the highways by going out there and seeing something or perhaps not seeing anything at all. Stay away from the area. We would advise you to do this. Now, my friends, tonight we'll muse upon the fate of monster shoes. These shoes were normal till the days a spell was cast on A, M, and A's. That fateful night, the wind blew cold. A haughty witch, so I've been told, jealous cause she had big feet, conjured up a wicked treat. Thirteen, thirteen, buckle stews. I cast my spell upon all shoes. She shook her broom, and with that phrase, shoes became monsters at A, M, and A's. They grew clunky heels and great rounded toes of genuine leather, and everyone knows she finished the spell with three hoots and ten hollers. The price, thirteen most unlucky dollars. But what was this? The spell went wrong. Buyers kept coming. They came by the throng. For thirteen dollars, these shoes are great! Cried the buyers, the witch collapsed with hate, and so to this day, these shoes are sold at A, M, and A's, or so I'm told. For thirteen dollars, they make stylish news. They're at A, M, and A's. They're monster shoes. 
Just another reminder not to call WKBW News. We are checking out the uh, the reports of the stories from Grand Island. Do not call the news department because we are flooded with calls uh, here at WKBW. I guess we might as well uh, play a record while they check. Uh, just, just a second. Hold that record a second, Dan. Uh, here's Henry Brock from the KB News Department with a late word. All available firefighting equipment is at the scene on Grand Island where it's been verified that a very large meteor has crashed into the ground in the vicinity of Grand Island Boulevard. Several persons are reported to have been killed, although reports and details are still sketchy. KB Total News Director Don Lancer is on his way to the scene. Well, uh, this is Buffy St. Marie. Seems a little frivolous at this time, but uh, I'm going to be a country girl again. We're going to interrupt this record by Buffy St. Marie to bring you a report from KB News Director Don Lancer on his way to Grand Island. We're now heading north on the South Grand Island Bridge. We've just passed what has to be one of the largest uh, areas of traffic congestion that I've seen in and around the Buffalo area or anywhere in western New York. Uh, traffic coming off the Youngman Expressway is completely at a standstill. Traffic is now backing up on the throughway. This is heading toward the Grand Island Bridge. Uh, we've asked you to please stay away from the area. Uh, there have been fires and explosions on Grand Island. We're presently going across the bridge. Uh, there's one lane open to emergency traffic. This is firefighting apparatus, ambulances especially. Ambulances are needed on the island. We understand the casualty count uh, may be higher than at first thought. A policeman we spoke to at the uh, entrance to the bridge uh, gave us that information. We're not exactly sure how many people have been killed or injured, but they're calling in all available ambulances from the area. As we come across the bridge off to our right, we can see uh, an orange light rising in the sky. Uh, it seems to be covering quite a large area along East River Road. As soon as we get down to the scene, we'll have further reports on that. This is Don Lancer, KB Total Mobile News on the Grand Island Bridge. Thank you, Don. KB News will keep you informed of uh, up-to-the-minute events uh, on Grand Island. Stay tuned to uh, 1520 WKBW in Buffalo, New York, and uh, we will have the... Sandy. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, because of the importance of this story, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go right to the newsroom and just give continued coverage on it. So if you can hang on for a second. All right. Uh, just bring the people up to date as to what's happening. We're going into the newsroom. Today. All right. Uh, we'll be switching to our news department in a matter of moments. Uh, so far, what has happened, uh, to put it in a nutshell, if we could, a meteor, uh, supposedly, this is all sketchy information, a meteor has landed in Grand Island. There have been lives lost, and uh, traffic is jammed all the way out to Grand Island, and we uh, are advised to keep as many people out of the area as possible. Do not call the station, do not call the police, do not call anyone. Everyone is informed of the events. Uh, the news department will keep you up to date. We're going to switch now to the KB newsroom for full in-depth uh, coverage. Now radio, go. 